Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. There is just so, so much. Boats, refrigerators, shacks. Take a look at your screen. This is a sea of debris that's been collecting in the weeks since Hurricane Ian. All of this piling up in the fish trap bay of Bonita Beach. It's not just an eyesore. This is awful for our water. Thanks for counting on NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. And I'm Kyla Gaylor. There is so much debris. Alligators now using it to sunbathe. NBC2's Gage Golding is local tonight on Bonita Beach, finding out when all of this debris will be cleaned up. Fish Trap Bay is peaceful and pristine, or it was before Hurricane Ian. Now, this water is polluted with just about anything. Just look at the mangroves over here. All of this entangled is just the surface of the problem. To me, this says tip of the iceberg. And just like an iceberg, what we can see is scary, but it's what's hidden in the water that could be much, much worse. The environment absolutely is going to be damaged. The mangrove systems that are, have collected all this debris are going to be visibly damaged for a great many years. The mangroves have become a near net for collecting anything that floated away in Ian's storm surge. This little nook of Fish Trap Bay living up to its name, trapping everything from kayaks to a shed. It's really a problem back there. There were dead fish back there. There were dead birds. It's the animals that were alive that really surprised Mary Beth Ross. She and her son filmed this video over the weekend where they spotted a gator floating on a piece of debris. There's a whole lot of stuff they can lay on now. So much that her dog Emma jumped off the boat. There was so much debris she thought it was land like she could walk on. When I pulled her out I had quite the scum line up my arm. It's that slime that has Mary Beth thinking about the bottom half of that iceberg, the toxic organic and chemical matter that's a consequence of all this sitting here for weeks. The substances we don't see are equally harmful to the ecosystem and to humans. It's exactly why the Florida Division of Emergency Management is at the helm of cleanup efforts. They told me their assessments of waterway debris started this week, and removal is already starting in some areas. But with this much debris... Boats, refrigerators, shacks... It's bound to take time. Once it's gone, our natural areas like Fish Trap Bay will look like recovery is underway. However, the environmental impacts from this debris will continue to take its toll. Some of these toxins now polluting the water will be here for longer than any of us would like to think. There are varied answers, and for some substances, the short answer is never. The best way to help recover and recover quickly, Dr. Duke says it's about preserving and promoting our green spaces. Reporting local tonight at Fish Trap Bay on Bonita Beach, Gage Golding, NBC2.